Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to blur a face using Final Cut Pro and in the process learn a little bit about effects animation. So the task here is simple. We've got a face on video and we want to blur it so that you can't see who it is. Now we're going to do two examples. The first is where the face remains in the same place and the second is where it moves. So here I am in Final Cut Pro and I've got two examples. One I'm staying still during the video and the other one I'm moving. So let's start with a simple example. Bring that one into the main timeline there. Now I want to blur my face. Now the way to do that is select Effects which I have here by clicking there. Uh, under Effects I'm going to list all and I'm going to look for one called Sensor. I'm going to drag that onto the clip. And what that does, if I select the clip there, is create this circular area where there's a blur. And I can move that over my face there. And for the entire length of the clip, let's scrub back and forth, you can see that my face is blurred. I can also, in the information area here, change things about the sensor effect. I can change the amount of pixelation. I can change from pixelate to, say, blur instead. Uh, and change the radius larger and smaller. So a lot of different things I can do and, and I've essentially blurred out this area of this clip in the video. Now let's complicate things a bit. Let's use the moving example and drag that. I can do the same thing here. I'm going to drag sensor over and I've applied this to the video except that sensor is not over my face. So I'm going to go to the beginning of the video here. I'm going to select it, go to the beginning, and I'm going to move it where my face is. Now the problem is, of course, is as the video plays, I move out of the blurred area. So in order to make it so my face is always blurred, I want to animate, I'm going to move the location of the blurred area. So to do that, I'm going to click here and bring up the little menu and go to Video Animation. And what will happen is I see all these different things here in the timeline that can be animated. One of them being the sensor effect. And here I can select what part of the sensor of the, uh, effect is animated. So everything, amount, radius, or center. I want to move this so I'm going to use center. So the center of the effect. And right now it's static, it's in the same place. But I could add what's called a keyframe. It's an animation term. And a keyframe is a location at a specific point and then it'll animate between them. So for instance, I'm right here right now in the video. Let's go and under modify, I can add a keyframe. You can see it's uh, option K. And I can see now a dot has appeared there. That's a keyframe. So I can go over here where I've moved. Let's look at the end of the movement right there and I can do Option K again and I can see it's added a second keyframe. Now if I select that keyframe I can move the effect over here and it knows it's supposed to be there on that keyframe and then if I go to this keyframe that's where it's supposed to be and it will actually animate between the two spots. So you can see it moves with me. Now if I wanted it to be more accurate I could add another keyframe like I can see oh it's getting a little head there of my movement. I can add another keyframe there, select that one, and modify it a bit so it moves like there. So now it's moving between these three keyframes and it's keeping my face always blurred. So that's how you blur a spot on your video using the sensor effect in Final Cut Pro. Now the animation technique you just learned using keyframes can be used on all sorts of different effects. It could be used on the video itself. It could be used on all sorts of different aspects of the video. So any effect you can apply, numbers that you can change, scaling, rotation, all sorts of things, you can go into the video animation area that I showed you and add keyframes and change it over time. So in other words you could have an effect like blur that gets blurrier over time starting with the first keyframe where blur is about zero and moving towards an area where the blur is 50% say. Or you could have a shape that you're using like an arrow actually follow something in your video by setting its location, its center uh, in one location using a keyframe and then another location using a keyframe later on. So there's a lot you can do once you've learned how to use the animation and keyframes in Final Cut Pro. 
So I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.